Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel and today I'll be talking about everything that came with the new update and uh, what you should grind for. So Global got the new Naruto right here, Blazing Bash one, uh, which is good. Nine steps, I will be summoning on that on my main account. Unless they brought out a, another really good banner on JP. Uh, I'll have to look because I haven't seen yet, but as of now I will be summoning on that. So stay tuned for that. Qualifier League is open, so um, make sure to qualify. I'll stream my qualifying matches on Twitch, so if you want to go see that, I'll leave a link to my Twitch on the, in the description. Uh, most likely be doing that today. That way I can just qualify and, you know, uh, make sure I do that. New Ninja Road, so I'll do that too. Um, I heard it's just a repeat of the old one, so I uh, haven't tried it, so I'll find out soon. Uh, Phantom Castle is gone. You should get the reward soon. Probably like in a day or two. Uh, so be patient on that. And let me look at the emergency missions. So they got um, impacts, emergencies. Alright, so these pains are not worth grinding, in my opinion. Uh, for the unit, not really worth grinding for the unit. Just get the pearls. Uh, this uh, Jiraiya is good for getting 99 luck. Because he is not a limit break uh, impact mission, so all you need is the 99 luck, and uh, you get a, you can get him ultimate fast. Because all you need is 99 luck, and then his health and strength pills, and that's pretty much it. So uh, if you don't have 99 luck unit, or if you want an ultimate 99 luck unit, uh, Jiraiya's the easiest one to get out of all these right here. Uh, the mercy. The Mercy tagged missions, um, I'll say just grind for the pearls. None of them are really worth grinding for the unit. And then these are just always here, so if you need those, grind those. So nothing really new, just a banner. Um, well, actually, there is <laughs> kind of a lot of things new, like new, new Ninja Road, Qualifier League, all that, so... But still, um, they have the the points right here. So if you haven't wasted all yours, uh, make sure to waste it. It's right here. It's going to be here for this week, but the Mercy mission is gone. So if you have any remaining, make sure to waste them. And then uh, for the Granny Cat Shop, uh, Acquisition Stones, get the... Acquisition stones, awakening scrolls, skip tokens if you want them. Limit break crystals. Uh, Yagura's not that good, but if you want him, you can get him. Get the speed boost pills and then get the beads. And uh, the clash coins. Uh, these go away in a uh, week. So if you haven't wasted them, or if you haven't gotten Killer B at least, please make sure to get Killer B. Uh, he's the best one there, so. Alright, so, um, the banner, I already made a video if you should summon on it last week. Alright, so here's the Naruto banner if you, uh, want to know if you should summon on it. I did make a video on that, uh, last week, so you can just check it out, or check it out, but I'll go over it right quick. So, it's a pretty good banner. Nine steps, uh, it has Killer B, um, I wanted the rates up, it has Pain, Shikamaru, and it has Pain and Shikamaru and the new Naruto I guarantee step, which is really good. So, 30 Ninja Pearls is the first step. The second step is 40 Ninja Pearls will increase rates up for Killer B, which is... Kill this Killer B is not good. And then you also get the Blazing Awakening materials for the new Naruto. Third step, you're guaranteed one Ultimate Blazing Bash character. So, uh, you pretty much can get anyone, any of the Blazing Bash units. Step 4 is rates up for Pain and Shikamaru, which is a really good step, so 40 pearls for that. And you also get uh, 8 speed boost pills. And step 5 rates up 2 times for the new Naruto, that's 50, 50 pearls. 6 step is the guarantee step. You get one of these guaranteed, which is really good, 50 uh, pearls. A 50 pearl step, and uh, the worst one is Shikamaru, but... The Naruto and the Pain are really good, so 
7 step, 30 ninja pearls, 8 step, 50 ninja pearls, and increase rates up for Naruto 3 times, so 3%, and then you're guaranteed the Naruto at the end. So yeah, pretty much, uh, it's a good banner to summon on, especially if you don't have pain. Alright, so yeah, pretty good banner, I like the pain. That is the main reason why I will be summoning, because I don't have this pain. And pretty much, his buddy skill is broken. It gives any unit uh, a 50%, or not 50%, a 50 increase of speed as the buddy skill. So, you'll probably you'll never lose a speed race if you have the pain un uh, underneath. And then the Naruto is also good too, so. Again, I made a video on if you should summon on it or not, but pretty much, if you don't have pain... Uh, I would say summon, if you're a beginner, summon, if your PvP team is lacking, it doesn't have good units, then summon. If you already have pain and uh, a really good team, then I would say skip. But yeah, it's only if, you know, your PvP team is lacking or you don't have pain that I think you should summon. Alright, so I think that's everything for Global. Uh, this is still here, it'll go away um, next week. So make sure to summon on that. I will be making a video on that because I haven't summoned. I don't even know how much tickets I have, but uh, yeah, we'll be doing that. Uh, no new panel mission. The Naruto, the Sage Mode Naruto, and the uh, Awakening Charm is gone. Only one is the Rookie Ninja Trial. Um, but yeah, that's it for Global. Let me go to JP. So I will be right back. All right, so I'm now on JP, and um. Everything looks to be the same. No new banners. Uh, let me see. Ninja Road is still there. Uh, Kage League starts for JP in uh, two days. Or Friday, pretty much. So like three days, Friday. Um, let's look at the Mercy missions. So the same impacts. Again, uh, Jiraiya is, is good to grind for the 99 Luck or the Ultimate. If you want an Ultimate unit. Um, he's pretty easy since he's not limit broken. You don't need to grind for the uh, limit break crystals, which is good. So, out of the emergency missions, I recommend grinding the Rock Lee if you need under 28 cost team uh, units because he goes under 28. He's not like you know that good or um, you know really good under 28 cost unit. But if you don't have anyone, then he's a good option just to help you do some of the missions. Um, but eventually when you get better ones, you're not going to use them no more. But it's just if you don't have any under 28 cost units. And the rest, just grind for the pearls. Let's see, uh... No new panel mission either, it's just, uh... The rookie, uh, ninja trial one, pretty much. Or rookie panel mission, now. That's what it's called. So, the Naruto banner is still here. I believe it's going to be here uh, for one more week. So that means you have two weeks on Global to decide if you're going to summon. So let's see. Yeah, so it goes away next week. Uh, no new banners, just that one. So after this one, we should be getting a uh, Blazing Festival. Or just, you know, some type of other banner. But... Yeah, th that's pretty much it for JP. Nothing new. Uh, the only thing that's coming is K K Kage League to grind, but everything else is pretty much uh, the same. Nothing new, so not really much to grind this week if you're on JP. But remember to do the uh, to get the Ninja World coins to get the acquisition stones and all that. So, uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video everything about the update we should grind for and all that so if you guys did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe and uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys